Hello, everyone. I am Pastor Jeremy Fry. I am the acting senior pastor at Advent Lutheran Church in Melbourne, Florida. This is my daily devotional podcast. It is Thursday, September 17th, 2020. Uh, if you listen to last yesterday's podcast, um, I read uh, the story of Jonah, or part of the story of Jonah, who who was told to God to go to Nineveh, the city, which was a horrible city, to tell people to repent. He didn't want to do it. He ended up doing it anyway. And people repented, and God said he was going to destroy them, but ended up not destroying them because uh, they repented. And Jonah said that's not fair. And we really talked about how grace isn't fair, that God, God's love and God's grace and God's forgiveness is for everyone, no matter who you are, what you've done, you can receive God's grace and love. Um, you know, when you repent of your sins and and try to be a follower of Jesus Christ, uh, God's love is for all of us. So it reminded me of a, another verse uh, in uh, the Gospel of Matthew, when Jesus was talking to the disciples about, you know, who can be saved, um, who is righteous enough to be saved, who is good enough to be saved uh, by God and to spend eternity with in God's love. And basically Jesus was saying, no one, no one is good enough. Nothing that we can do as human beings can earn our salvation. It's only through the life, death and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that we are saved. So this uh, passage is Matthew 19, verses 25 and 26. And this is kind of the end of Jesus sharing about what it means uh, and who can be saved. And it's this is the New International Version of the Bible translation. And it says, starting with verse 25, when the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and asked, who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, with, with man, or hum humanity, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. With humanity, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. And this, again, just reminds me of our need as human beings, uh, our want and our desire to be in control to be almost godlike of the things around us, right? We want to be in control, we want to be right, we want to pave our own way, we want to make the decisions, we want to do the things that make us happy or make our loved ones happy and cared for. Uh, we want to be in charge. Um, and sometimes we even think that we could be in charge of our own salvation. If I just believe enough or have enough faith or do the right things, uh, or whatever it is, uh, that we can do enough good stuff uh, to earn our salvation and earn our way into heaven. Whether we believe it or not, a lot of the times we act that way. Even when we do good things uh, out of good intentions, uh, at least for me in the back of my head, I'm like, ooh, God really has got to like that one, right? I, I'm sure I got a gold star for that one, but that's just not how it works. Because uh, it's again, what the scripture tells us is that with humans, humanity, it's impossible. It is impossible for us uh, to gain God's love, gain God's forgiveness, gain God's accept acceptance. Um, it is only this gift of grace that God gives us. And that all, with God, all things are possible. I love that. I love that phrase. With God, all things are possible. Doesn't mean all things are going to happen or everything that we want to is going to happen, but all things are at least possible with God. Uh, we as human beings are limited, but with God, there's no limitations. All things are possible. So let's pray. Oh, good and gracious God, I thank you for today. I thank you for the blessings that you give us each and every day. I thank you for forgiving our sins each and every day. Continue to guide us and lead us to, to just accept this wonderful gift of grace and forgiveness and let that love, 
let that grace, let that mercy flow out of us uh, to all those around us. Uh, help us not to want to always be in control. Help us to not always want to be right. Help us always to always not want uh, to be uh, to be you, to be God. We know that we are limited in what we can do, but we know all things are possible with you. Fill us with your Holy Spirit so that we can go throughout our day trying and doing the things that you want us to do. And with you and with your support and the help of the Holy Spirit, we know all things are possible. We pray this in your son's holy and precious name. Amen. Well, thanks for joining me today. Uh, catch me tomorrow for the last one of the week. Uh, we'll be talking a little bit about what I'm preaching about some more this weekend. Take care, God bless, and stay safe.